So we saw that <coughs> the gases, they, uh, the, the gas equation that we studied was the ideal gas equation, but, and that was represented by this, but we, in the same, in the same breath we said that no gas is ideal. And still we, we derived it due to, we told two reasons. Number one, uh, whenever there is a deviation under no normal circumstances, it is, it is not much more than this. And secondly, this is easier to understand and follow. Okay, simple, simple relation. However, since the gases are not ideal, we should also try to understand how a real gas behaves, right? How a real gas behaves. Now, if this is P and this is PV, okay, understand, if, if my x axis is P and, and, and my y axis is PV and I plan to plot P versus PV at constant temperature, at constant temperature, so, we want to plot P versus PV at constant, constant temperature. Why are we plotting this? Because what do you expect for the ideal gas? What should be the value of PV for an ideal gas? It will be a constant, is it not? It will be a constant. Why? Because T is a constant, R is a constant. I am dealing with an enclosed container with a fixed amount of gas, so, so a fixed mole of gas. So P into V is constant. So it is actually what? It is actually the Boyle's law. Now how should it look? It should look like like this for an ideal gas. Yes? Oh. Why not? You take an enclosed gas, you compress it and you measure the P and you and you find PV. How will it change? Why why should it change? So what happens? V goes down. How will P change? How will P change without V becoming less at the same temperature? The equation. Because P is inversely proportional to V. You, you make the volume half, the pressure doubles. So this is what you expect from an ideal gas. Now what they did was they plotted, they plotted the real gases. Right. They plotted the real gases and and they tried to see how it behaved. Okay, how it behaved. So there were, okay, uh, for an ideal gas, for an ideal gas, the, the graph is a horizontal straight line, right? It is a horizontal straight line. Okay. It should be. Since it becomes the Boyle's law. Right. The Boyle's law. PV is equal to constant. Right. PV is equal to constant. Why? Because T is a constant, R is the universal constant and we are dealing with a fixed amount of gas. Now, for an ideal gas it is that. Now, for a real gas, if we plot it, then we find that hydrogen behaves like this. Okay. Say helium behaves like this. Okay, 
से सी ओ इज समथिंग लाइक दिस कार्बन मोनोक्साइड ओके एंड से मैथेन इट इज इट इज समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस इज मैथेन So we find there are two kinds of behavior. No, for hydrogen and helium, what do they do? They they take off straight above that straight line, right? While in these two gases, they, there is some negative deviation from that horizontal line, and then at some point of time they cut it, and then they keep on moving up, correct? So so two kinds of behavior is seen. Number one, for H two and H E, the graph is a straight line. Is a straight line above the above the horizontal line, right? Above the ideal gas graph. Yes, you said something. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. Second, for 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 CO and CH four, there is first a dip below the ideal behavior, the ideal gas line. so there is a dip below the uh, line and then it goes up crosses the ideal gas line and keeps moving up and keeps moving up right now this is what we see from experiment and this kind of completely violates what we had expected from the ideal gas equation correct fine 